coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. What? Okay, from the beginning. From the start. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I want to hear about uh, you. What, what's your What's your profession? You can tell them all if you want to. Obviously, we're all here for a certain one. <laughs> but you can mention them all if you need to, you know, so. All right. So now my background's in electrical engineering. I'm going to start from the beginning, okay. sort of. So I, I moved down to the D.C. area. For, I grew up in New Jersey, moved down to the D.C. area to for an engineering gig. And I was here and I was all alone and I wanted to do some extracurricular activities outside of the workplace. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I, and I've had paranormal experiences my entire life. And I thought to myself, you know, I wonder if there's a paranormal group I could be a part of. So I started doing ghost hunting on the weekend. But we don't really, we call it paranormal investigation. We probably shouldn't call it ghost hunting because we're not really like hunting down the ghosts and killing them. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's that's no longer, you can't say that kind of stuff anymore. <laughs> no, you can say it. I just can't okay. say, you can't say ghost hunting. <laughs> We can, but we're not going to. Okay. Um, no, no. So I found the paranormal group and I started investigating with them on the weekends. And then uh, there was this production company that was looking for local paranormal investigators to investigate an entire town in West Virginia called Shepherdstown. Okay. And oldest town in West Virginia uh, in Revolutionary War. Um, and I got to be a part of the show, Ghost of Shepherdstown. And so I did that for two seasons. And then there started to become crossover between my engineering work and the paranormal investigating because I started building paranormal devices, which I call ghostly gadgets. Oh, that's fun. And I yeah, so I started, uh, yeah, so I started creating these little devices that I would use on investigations. And then I got the opportunity to work a few seasons on paranormal lockdown uh, here in the States and then over in the UK as well, which was great. And I got to build a lot of gear for the show. I, my my title for the show is Paranormal Engineer. <laughs> that's cool. That's yeah. actually really neat. Yeah, I love so, that. So yeah, that's a little background on me. So we already have a question, if you're okay. ready. Do yeah, you believe ready. in ghosts? <laughs> you know what? Do you get this question? That's a yeah, I do. You get the question a lot, but it's not like I'm going to be out the gate and say, oh, yes, I absolutely believe in ghosts. Okay. I think that I have witnessed enough to say that there is something. And I don't think that we're able to really define what that is. I don't think we can say for sure. Like, we know for sure that it's absolutely a ghost or, you know, uh, Uncle Fred coming back to visit me or, like, this terrifying demon in this house, like, I don't think we can say that, but I do know that there's something because I've had a lot of experiences that defy any logic whatsoever. Okay. So All there right. is something, I don't know if we'll ever know exactly what that is. Okay, someone just asked if I have any haunted items. Uh -oh. There's two kinds of items that I have. I have the items that have been to so many locations that, uh, yeah, there's something weird going on with them for sure. Like oh. you probably don't want to sleep with them in the same room with you as night at night. <laughs> Do you like put salt around there or anything like that? Like what would you do to like- No, no. I I embrace it. <laughs> I no, embrace I'm serious. The you know what? If you start if you start giving it it power, so to speak, if you start believing like, oh, this is so haunted and there's something really evil about this thing, it could be anything. You could have a rock and think about this thing being evil every day. Eventually that rock is gonna be damn evil, okay? So <laughs> Interesting. Interesting way of like perceiving. I've never this yeah. is like totally like changing not changing, but like opening my mind to like different possibilities or like way of perceiving how something might take on a certain like quality, you know? Like you know, people our, giving it power, you know? I like that. Yeah, because our our brains are such powerful things, you know? If you if you believe that it's haunted, it then it is. It absolutely. We used to say this, uh, you know, when we would go to residential locations and do investigations for them, and they'd swear up and down something was going on in their house. I'd be like, yeah, absolutely. I bet there is, you know, because you believe it. I mean, you're experiencing these things. You right. absolutely wholeheartedly believe it. I can't tell you otherwise. Um, but that's anyways, a, yeah, that's a nice response. I like that a lot. Like you're just like you validate their feelings, you know, and like their what they experiences are without belittling or, or like, you know, I feel like a lot of people probably yeah. feel belittled or something like that when they talk to someone potentially about who this. am I to say that you didn't experience that? Yeah. You know, I wasn't there. Wow. Oh, I love this. I love this a lot. Yeah. I had no idea that there was so much like not vulnerability, but like um, empathy, I guess, or sympathy mm. I guess, as well with this profession, you know, so. 
Yeah, you hear a lot of crazy stories and you you embrace it because, uh, I, yeah, if, I've experienced some crazy things that people probably wouldn't believe me. And who am I to say that, you know, you didn't experience that? It might sound wild and I might think about it some and be like, oh, I don't know about that. But... Uh, I can't do that. I mean, what if it did happen? That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Let's... I do have haunted objects. That's the point. <laughs> There's some that I've, I've taken circle. around. I've taken around to numerous locations. And yeah, there's something a little off with them. And then I've been gifted a, gifted some as well. People gift. Is that a gift or a curse? Like what is it, like a monkey paw kind of thing? Like here's a here. I'm gifting you a scary like, cursed object. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll receive uh I've get been given pieces of locations, like old boards from locations. Uh, this is like, super cool. Yeah. Um, I, I did a documentary recently called The House in Between Two, mm -hmm. and I was gifted this um, walking cane, or, or this walking stick, sorry, okay. walking stick, and it has beautiful engravings in it. But this, play, this, this house is really, really hot. Welcome to Phasmophobia. I'm gonna go ahead and get our item list going. I'm just can gonna load we, us up. Actually. We can do rituals. We can. There's. Uh, yeah, there is some rituals we can do. For cleansing. Yeah, we can. Do we? Do we cleanse ourselves? Uh, the smudge sticks will actually cleanse the room, basically, and stop the ghost from hunting us for like a, a set period of time. We should probably do it before we start. Really? So you think we should smudge first? We might. You might be bringing something. Okay, into we can this smudge. No, fine. Let, okay, interesting. <laughs> so is that what you'd normally do then? Is you'd normally then you would smudge the area first and then try mm. and find the ghost or like no some people might put black salt down the entrance and rub their feet in it before they enter okay but we're and not gonna do that we don't have to smudge ourselves let's bring everything in <laughs> okay <laughs> um i'm gonna switch over to the black salt because you've mentioned black salt so actually we have black salt uh if we want to use it so okay go ahead and ready up Biggie asks, Biggie2000, mm -hmm. have you ever had an attachment from a location you investigated? Oh my God. Ooh, yeah, I, I have been to places where I've had some pretty weird stuff happen once I got home. That's definitely happened. Oh, that's horrifying. I've had experiences ever since I was a kid. Okay. So for for me, it just is kind of normal. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> That's okay. Um, all right. All okay. right. This is cool. Yeah, yeah. So look what we have here. Um, we, if you oh. ask any questions Ooh. and we can... Yeah, great. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. Ask any questions that you want. So I'll just kind of walk it through here. What uh, can the I book do is just for ghostwriting to see if they just write in the book, you know? <gasps> you know, I, I made like a digital version of that where different sensors would kind of like... Uh, pop up words on the screen oh wow and, and and i was my attempt was to create a device that would make sentences out of i didn't perfect it but it reminds me of this because it was kind of enclosed in something that looks like a book so i think the okay. first thing we should do is try and find the ghost room we what i stuff. usually do to find the ghost room is i use an emf reader i hate these k2s <laughs> Like in real life, I hate them. They're no so way. annoying to me. Why are, they, why are they annoying to you? Because they're so faulty sometimes. That they, is hilarious. They just, the issue with K2s is that people get too excited and they just, it doesn't necessarily go off because of a ghost. The lights will start flashing and people will be like, oh my gosh, it's a ghost. No. All right, continue. What would you normally use then instead of the EMF reader? <laughs> um, Actually, there's a, a no, a, in the re EMF readers are okay. Just, uh, I think I I personally use a device that um, it, it is an EMF reader, but it's it's not one like this. It it has like analog gauges on it, and you're actually seeing the fluctuations, and you can actually make real life measurements out of it. It's not it's not something that's just flashing lights. Okay. And I know that they have like, you know, the range here, but that's not enough for me. And there's so much stuff that gives off EMF. And sometimes yeah. on like reality shows, it'll be going off. But actually, production, their walkie-talkies will make those things go off. I should so probably like... not say these things. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, okay. So you can grab whatever else you want now at this point. So I recommend at least a flashlight if you want one. You don't have to have a flashlight. And then okay. one other item that you think would be helpful in our quest to find the ghost. Did we, can we get the spirit box? Yeah, we can grab that. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, I got a temperature sensor just okay. because in the game, the temperature probably drops. Yes. Yep. Okay. 
So that's a good All one. Right. I'm gonna grab UV and probably a camera because it's nice to be able to take pictures of the ghost. I'm gonna grab a headset, but I don't recommend you grab one. All right, I'm gonna drop mine. Okay. How do I drop it? Uh, G for. Got it. Drop. Thank you. Okay, you ready to go on in the house? Yep, I'm ready. So I don't even know what to expect. This is Tanglewood Drive. It looks like they left in a hurry. Um, okay, I got the key already at the front door. They already gave us the key, so we can just go on in when you're ready. So are you ready to go on in? I'm ready, sure. Okay. I don't even know what to expect. Perfect. I can't believe I've never played this. All right. Oh. We're listening for any oh. noises or EMF oh. sightings. Okay. Yeah, so you need to turn your light off when the ghost starts to hunt because they can detect your light. So we need to find a hiding spot, okay? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Well, what would you do in this situation? We just got to this house. They, it's it's been reported haunted by the res. We don't know why. I would walk the whole place and listen, and then I would decide which room I wanted to focus on. Okay, perfect. Like, I would walk the house and feel, well, we can't feel anything in the game, but maybe we'll listen to each room. I have a feeling we should go upstairs. We can also can we look that? for, like, st oh, there's downstairs. There's no upstairs. Oh, okay, downstairs. What kind of sounds will the ghost make? He'll th he'll he or she will throw stuff. Throw stuff? It's yeah. already a poltergeist. It, well, it could be. <laughs> Actually, it's one of the ghosts. We're trying to determine what kind of ghost it is. So maybe it is a poltergeist. We don't know yet. Uh, this is this is a haunted mirror, by the way. This is a haunted mirror. We can use it to look into the ghost room. However, if you use it for too long, oh. it breaks and the ghost will hunt us immediately. So, like, I recommend not looking into the mirror. But we'll show you what room it's in. Do we get any background? They just. Have a ghost and... You do have information about this ghost. Why, why, does, why does my investigator tire so quickly? Oh, I was going to ask you that question. Do investigators have low stamina, like IRL? Do you all just like tire quickly from running? Because like in the game, it's about three seconds. I just assume that's just a real life thing. You run for a second, and you're like, I'm out of breath immediately. What? No, not a thing. Okay. The, it looks like the game no. took some liberties about ghost hunting p investigators. Yo, we're up all night, maybe <laughs> for days, okay? We have stamina. We might be hopped up on some sugar or coffee or something, but... Oh my god. That's so <laughs> fucking funny. Quite the opposite. Okay, well that's actually hilarious. Our adrenaline's so, going. You well, think we can, about it. Well, we actually have some medication to help us out, actually. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that not realistic? You don't just take whatever is in this pill. I have no idea what the ingredients are, but it makes you feel good. That's it's up. nice. The ghost's name is Julie Elliott, okay? And she responds to everyone. Okay, so that means we can be in the same room together and ask it questions. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And we should use the spirit box then. Okay, perfect, yeah. So. Oh, then we have to cleanse the, the area later. All right. Yes. Yes. This is cool. So, fun fact, on my show, uh, they <laughs> we used an old ambulance, mm -hmm. and they kind of modded it to be our gear truck, which was awesome. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's so fun. I love that. Maybe I don't... Maybe awesome's not the word. <laughs> but it was unique. Where are you? Oh, I'm right here. Give us a sign. Oh, you're saying that to them. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, wait, did you turn this light on? What light? In Oh, oh, come over here, in the garage. I can see my right. breath. Oh, it's dropping, it's dropping. Okay, great. So if it gets below freezing, it has to be below freezing though, right? Or um, below zero Celsius. That That is evidence we can check in our journal, and that'll tell us what kind of ghost it might right, be. It's dropping to 10. Okay, just keep watching. Yeah, it's for going time. down to five. Oh, what was that? What? I didn't hear anything. No, no, I thought I saw like a little orb thingy. Oh, we can actually check for right. ghost orbs with it's, our camera. Oh, it's dropping, it's dropping to zero. It's getting there. Should I turn on the spirit box? Are you friendly? That's a good question. It's below zero. Oh yeah, it's like way below zero. Okay, great. And then mm -hmm. click freezing temperatures as one of your pieces of evidence. I got it. And then now you can see all the ghosts that are available for us now. So Demon, Maroi, oh. Revenant, Yuri, Hauntu, Onryo, Jin, Shade, Oni, the twins, and Mimic. Yep, got it. So we want to get three pieces of evidence. So we already we already have one of one of three. I, I've been to Bobby Mackey's. We filmed there. And uh, so it's definitely an interesting place. I'll tell you one one thing that happened. I was setting up a equipment at Bobby Mackey's one time 
in the basement there. And uh, out of the corner of my eye, mind you, it's pitch black, but out of the corner of my eye, it's, it appeared like, it looked like car headlights just went on on the other side of the room. It was pitch black. Uh, there's no cars down there, by the way. <laughs> but it was just like these two um, really bright flashes of light. What is happening? We got ghost riding. What? What did it say? Anyways, it looked like car headlights just came on in the basement there. It was really wild. And apparently people have experienced that before there. That's creepy. It was very bizarre. But we experimented with something called the God Helmet. I've seen that. What is that exactly? So it's a device that has these magnetic coils. That So the helmet goes on your head. There are 16 magnetic coils that are all kind of activated in a, in a specific pattern that makes you kind of hallucinate, essentially, and start to see things. Okay. And so I had uh, one of the hosts of the show use it um, to see if we would get any results and if they he could actually visualize whatever was there at the location. Do we have, like, a specific time limit? Um, n well, if it, just don't die, really. What? It could kill me? Yes. No, I, you never said that the ghost could kill oh, me. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, the ghost can kill you. Or you did. It was selective hearing. It was like, it was a hunt. I guess when it goes on a hunt, you know, is when it can kill you. So if it starts he, hunting, it's Well, gonna it's going to get mad because we're, we have four ghosts that could possibly be now. It's going to get mad that we're close. Yep. Yeah, it could be it could be one of these four ghosts. We need that last piece of evidence. So it could be at this point EMF reader, ultraviolet, which is like UV like fingerprints, uh, okay. ghost orbs, and uh, spirit box. Or would any of these ghosts possibly be caught on camera? Yeah. So I'm just taking photos around the room now. Okay. So normally you want to wait for like um, something to happen, like a door to move or something like that, and that's when you take a picture of it or something, you know. So, like, we usually wait for, like, something, like, definitive. And it'll give you feedback on it. Like, we got a ghost picture. We got a picture really? of fingerprints or a door moved or something item moved. Have you ever had a lightheartish experience with a ghost? That's a great question. That is, yeah. Yes. So, this is kind of half sad. Okay, there was a residential case that we had where... Um, guy named Bruce had uh, hung himself in the corridor of the house before the new couple that moved in lived there. Mm -hmm. So the previous residence was husband and wife. Husband hung himself in the corridor. Um, and so they were getting all these experiences in the house where electronics would go on and off, like the lights, everything like that. They also noticed that as a couple, they were getting into more arguments and fights with each other, mm -hmm. which I thought was really interesting. Like that energy was just very negative. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we'll come and investigate the location. Um, we're investigating the house and it was so, Colin, it was so weird. When I say it was weird, it was really weird. The house felt fine. We were going around, we were, you know, using equipment, seeing if we could communicate with something. And out of nowhere, it was like this heavy energy came into the room. I can't even describe it, but I felt terrible. I felt awful. Mm -hmm. And it was like the whole environment just completely changed. And so I decide with another investigator to go to a different place in the house because I didn't wait, like the way it felt in the basement. Mm -hmm. So we go into this, uh, this room upstairs, kind of away from everybody, and we just start communicating I started brought, brought out my digital recorder and we started um, trying to talk to whoever was there and later when I listened to the recording it turned out that we were getting like intelligent responses from Bruce himself at the house and we were saying things to him you know like uh, it's okay to move on you don't have to you don't have to be stuck in this place anymore because we were under the assumption that maybe he was just lingering around because he felt guilty about what he had done in his life. Mm -hmm. um, but we we got responses from Bruce saying, you know, thank you and that he was there with us and that he felt sad. Um, 
and you just hear this whole conversation back and forth that we, we didn't know in the moment that we were having with him. But later on, when we left the house, we listened back to the audio and it was clear that he was there. And after we left, the couple told us that they didn't have any more incidents in the house anymore. Everything was gone. Oh, so wow. I don't know what to make of that. But when I hear the voice back on the audio, it was pretty amazing to me. Yeah. I mean, you felt like you actually did something for these people. That's and cool. yeah, I would say it was a lightheartish kind of moment. So what is the end goal for you with like ghost investigation? Just, just to know more, uh, just to learn or to try and help ghosts move on or to cleanse the area like or or is it case by case basis like i want you to come in and, and just you know i think it well it's definitely case by case i i think for myself i like to figure out if we can get to the truth you know yeah i want to know as many answers as we can i i go into it knowing that i probably won't ever know the answer i probably will never really understand what fully is going on right and then of course you know like the old saying the more you learn the more you realize you don't know anything at all all right where are we at here okay so we're looking for our last piece of evidence which I, the ghost is not giving up for whatever reason so um oh, oh. <gasps> what was that i don't i don't know wait what was that it might be our emf reader it's only a two we're looking for a five for evidence, but it's only a two right now. Really, a five? Where are you? Are you friendly? I mean, are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Every time you say, where are you, I respond with, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> where are you? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? We can ask it do, like- Do we not have a Ouija board? We don't board? have a Ouija board. We have the mirror. Right, which we can break if we want to force a hunt, which we can totally do. You want to try and get a hunt going, basically? I'm gonna have you hide in here, okay? You're gonna hide in here and you're. Well, what? What do I protect myself with? You're just gonna stay hidden, okay? And wait for the ghost hunt to be okay. done. So yeah, turn your light off and drop any electronic okay. equipment you're holding, like or like don't have it turned on. I'm sorry. Either drop it or don't. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just throw it down to the ground. That's expensive. Please don't do that. Um. Okay, you can pick it back up actually, but just make sure that it's not turned on. Yeah, so nothing, no lights on, no electronic equipment on, okay. and then, uh, and then you can close the door basically. So. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so make sure it's it's off, okay. right? It's in the it's in the, it's uh, turned. Holding the camera also will get you killed. So. Um, All right. How about I just I'm just gonna drop the camera. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna close this. Okay. Okay. Ah, am I gonna hear stuff? Yeah, of course. It's gonna hunt. So get ready. What does that even mean? It's going to hunt. Doesn't it know that I am friendly? Oh. oh. What was that? That was a crucifix just got burned. I just accidentally wasted oh, a crucifix. Oh, so you broke the mirror? Yeah, I did. Which oh forced my a, which gosh. basically forced a hunt. So that's, okay. This is a demon. <laughs> it actually might be. Um, this is a demon. I don't think it what is actually. What are you doing, Colin? <laughs> I'm actually getting rid of this crucifix. Right, so what about a revenant? It could be Ooh, a revenant. Oh. I'm thinking shade because shadies are usually really um Shadies. That's not so cute. <laughs> it's a shade. A little shady. They're a little shady, you know? Like they're not Aww. they're not uh they're very shy him. ghosts. So they don't like to come out very often. They're much harder to find. That's probably him. Yeah. That's the one I'm thinking it is. Um But we didn't get a level five. No, we didn't. No, that's. But they oh, also. Oh, someone said they're low key cute. Don't let Colin. Don't let Colin touch the Ouija board. We don't have one. Why? So we're fine. What? It, what? Right, it, what has happened? Out. You can come on out. Well, it can break as well, and they'll force a hunt. I actually the messed Ouija up here. board can break. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like real life. Um. Okay. So let's go here what? in the basement. <laughs> down here. Follow well, me. Yeah. But... Uh, we're looking for a hiding place, actually. Oh, perfect. Yeah. If you come down here, the basement, there's a really good hiding oh, place. Okay. Oh. Oh, come, come, come. What is it? Hide, 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 hide. Back here, back here, back here. Hide here. Hide here. Hurry, quick, quick, quick. Back here, back here, back here. Back here, over here. Stay here. Is that the ghost voice? Oh. Ah. <gasps> 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 
Is that the ghost footsteps? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think it's done. There's also a bone. There's a pelvic bone here. Do you find bones often in your ghost investigations? Uh, there, there was a house before where bones were found. And sometimes you look for them too, to see if there's uh, family plots on the land that might explain the hauntings at a location. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, we should get out of the house. Oh, what? What? <laughs> Wait a second. I can barely see. I can barely see from my monitor. I need to turn hunting. my light on. Can, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can turn your light on. But just quickly get out of the house before it hunts. If it hunts before you get to the door, you need to hide. Holy. Find a closet like that to hide in. Okay, there you are. There you are. I can't believe that I'm out of breath in two seconds. It's <laughs> obnoxious. So not realistic. Okay, I'm actually really glad we cleared that up. So. That's great. Okay, so my chat thinks it's a shade. Do you want to keep looking for that last bit of evidence, or do you want to just guess and go and hope hope that it's a shade? I think it's a shade, let's, personally. Let's guess and go. Okay, great. So make sure you circle shade in your journal. So just click on shade, right. and circle it, and then boom, done. So we got it. It was right. We were right. Oh the ghost God. type was shade. <gasps> Find the correct Ooh. ghost type. You got 100 bucks for that, so which is, I'm guessing, also very realistic. Cool. We got that. That was... That was great. We can move to intermediate or professional next. What do you want to do? What professional? We can do professional. We don't have do any it. grace period though. It means the ghost can hunt immediately if it wants to. It won't probably most, like, you know, most of the time it won't hunt immediately, but it can hunt immediately. It doesn't want to mess with us. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do professional then. Emery asked earlier, have you seen shadow people? Yes. There was one location that I was at in California. Everyone was seeing them at that location. So this is interesting. Shepton Mallet Prison in the UK has a lot of shadow people as well. Um, people that were on crew that have never had a paranormal experience in their life were seeing them at dusk. That's creepy. So you're saying this would happen yeah. like a lot at this location, basically. Like yeah. Common. Nice. There were so there were so many people were executed there. It's oh, like really really dark energy. Yeah, Shepton Mount Pearson. It was it's that's like the most haunted location I would say that I've been to. That that for me, that's not for everybody, but I'm just saying for me that I definitely you just you just felt like dirty dark there. I don't even wow. know if that's a thing. <laughs> dirty dark. Dirty, just, that's the worst kind I've heard. <laughs> on a scale of dirty, dark. light, light, good to dirty dark. Yeah, that's like the worst dirty, one. Dark. Yeah. Oh, it's foggy. Okay. Interesting. So we're Ooh. We're in a uh, middle of nowhere kind of vibe, so Ooh. go on in. Hey, hey. Do you know how to open doors? Uh, grab it with left left mouse and then drag it. So, yep, just like that. Oh. You got it. Yeah, it's kind All of right, wonky, but you get used to it. I'm just going to walk around with the EMF. Okay. Okay, perfect. Make sure it's turned on. It is. <laughs> okay. I, I, as someone who chronically forgets to turn it on, I'm just letting you know. But yeah, you can just walk around and just kind of like feel it out and if it blinks at all mm. even a little bit that might be an indication ew this is a creepy little thing <laughs> <laughs> it can giggle and laugh it's horrible <laughs> what yeah yeah it's it's actually pretty creepy when it happens ew hello there <laughs> one oh, of my favorite guy. places I got to investigate was a birdcage theater in tombstone which led me to move oh, there for over a year I've, Have... I haven't been there I haven't been there I would like to oh, I'd okay. love to go to tombstone where is that it, in in tombstone where is that do we know in is tomb it, zone i don't know I, I don't know is that is that like a state or something like that it's like a city <laughs> in a state <laughs> did you say is it a state <laughs> and then like is it in a state like it's in is, arizona okay tombstone, arizona. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 51 states of tombstone America state. and Tombstone. Yes. Uh, Kansas, Arkansas, I, Missouri, I would move there and tomorrow. Tombstone. Yeah, I think honestly we'd probably have an overwhelming if, if we had a state like, called Tombstone. I want to move to Tombstone. The mayor <laughs> would... of Tombstone. Or the governor, I guess, rather. The governor of Tombstone. Oh, oh my God. What? <laughs> crazy lady. I thought a ghost was revealing itself to me, but no. No, no, no. Just this, this lady. Ooh, have you ever had a child spirit in an investigation? Okay, I have to tell this story. Very first investigation ever with my team, okay? okay. I, I've never met these people. I talked to, so I was with Maryland Paranormal Research. The founder of Maryland Paranormal Research is this lovely gentleman named Hiram. Mm -hmm. 
And so we talked for hours before I joined the team. And uh, I'm going to go upstairs, by the way. Okay. And um, so I was going to my first residential investigation with them. I was meeting everybody there. So, uh, you know, one of the things he told me was that the, you know, ch oh, wait a second. I, something's coming after me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. What? Oh, don't, don't, don't. What? I got a picture. <laughs> why are you so? Why were you so calm? You didn't even try to save me. I couldn't save you at that point. What do you mean? There was nothing I could do. I didn't even hear the ghost coming. I think it's a myelin. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and ghost. Colin, <laughs> you didn't even, you didn't even care. I was screaming and you were just silent the whole time. You had no feelings. Where is the empathy, Colin? I was dying. Is this how you be with me in real life? I'm getting strangled to death by a ghost, and Colin's like, doo, 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 doo. I think it's this guy. I think it's a myelin. I do think it's a myelin. Um, oh my god. Let me double check, though. What the heck? <laughs> by the way, note to everyone out there, trust the people that you are investigating with. <laughs> trust that they would care if you died. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shed one tear, not even one tear. You're a ghost. You can do stuff now. You can like, go pick up stuff and throw it. I don't want to be a ghost. Okay, okay. I want to be. All um, right, well, I'll, I'll go guess and I'll just guess and go. I think. Do it's I communicate lane. with you? Do I help you figure out who who they are? You can if you want to, uh, but I'll just go ahead and guess and go, and we'll get on out of here. And we'll try again. We can do this map again or do a different map. So up to you. No, we can we can do it again. Okay, get this guy. All right. <laughs> well, it's different so... every time. It's unique. It won't be in the same room. So it was a Diogen. Oh, really? I didn't even hear it. Oh, weird. I heard it right in my ear before it killed me off. Hey. It was a Dio, so I was completely wrong. Sorry, I was telling my story about the child. So oh, yeah. let me finish that story. Yeah, where were you? That was. So <laughs> I, I get to the house. I walk in. So beforehand, I was told that no family members um no, none of the children would be there if they had kids at a location. They would just don't, they're not there when we investigate that night. Great. So I walk into the house and I hear immediately when I walk into the house, I hear this little boy giggling upstairs. And I was a little confused. And I walk into the kitchen where Hiram's talking to the client. And I say, I, I'm sorry, I'm so confused, you know, uh, I thought that there were no children that were going to be present for the investigation tonight, you know? And she she looks at me and she goes, oh, no, there's no kids here. That's just Billy. He's one of the, the child ghosts here. And I was like, what? <laughs> and that was the first, that was my first um, experience at an investigation where there was a Little little boy ghost present. That's My very nuts. first investigation. I'll never forget it. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, what else? Oh, I guess a flashlight. Flashlight. But the scared. flashlight got me in trouble last time. I was quickly trying to turn it off when I heard his growling. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that was a really dangerous ghost actually for beginners. So um, you can't hide from that ghost. You have to keep moving. Oh, uh, so well, I, I did. I, I tried to move down the stairs, and then he strangled me, yeah, and you he didn't care. You. He snuck up on. I didn't hear him. I didn't. No, even you hear did not him. care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going upstairs first, where he killed me. Well, it's a different, ha it's a different like location, quote unquote. Oh, I heard something. Did you hear something? Uh, no. Oh, All right. it's a plate. Oh, EMF five over here, down here, over here, downstairs. Where are you downstairs? Yeah, okay. over here. EMF five. Ooh, can it be a wraith? Uh, it could be a wraith. Yeah, wraiths can't walk Ooh. through salt. They 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 float basically. <gasps> So we can put salt oh. down. If it doesn't walk through any of the salt, we can probably say that might be a wraith. Ooh. He drunk. wants to get drunk. EMF is going off by the beer can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that could be what it's telling us. Uh, okay, back over here. Oh, oh, the temperature's dropping. Temperature's dropping. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. I'm getting my equipment. Hang on. It's going down to zero. Zero, baby. Our sanity is kind of low, actually. So what we want to do is go over here, grab a sanity pill, and then... Right click to use it. Alrighty. So, and then, oh, don't throw it. Oh. <laughs> what? Just, I I'm right kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, that's what it always does. It just means you. <laughs> oh, what? Uh-huh. Okay, got me. Okay. 
Where in the UK did you investigate? This is from TikTok, Elizabeth. Oh, oh gosh. Definitely the Drake Low Tunnels. That was a great one. Also, Royal Oak Pub was another one in the UK. Skegness Hell House was another one. Um, oh, Newsham Park Hospital was actually a really good one. That one, though, okay. So I was walking around beforehand deciding what gear I wanted to build for that location. And I came across a room that had a dead bird in it, okay? Okay. And I, I had a cough for about a month after that location. It was horrible. I have friends that are Satanists. They're awesome. Uh, I got you some more. That's, 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 I got you some more. really mean they're conjuring up anything because they don't really believe in that. <laughs> I got you some more uh, sanity pills, by the way, right here. Oh, oh, oh. I need those. Yeah. Oh, no, I heard something. I heard something. <laughs> it's going off. What do I do? What do I do? No, no, what I do think, I do? God, God damn it. I don't want to die again. Okay, okay, okay. Follow me. Follow me. Let's Wait, go. I need sanity. Okay, t take your sanity. Right? Oh. Qu quickly. The sooner you take the sanity, the better. Okay, okay, I gotta get out, and then I need to pick this up. I need to crouch down, I need to pick up my pills. Yep. Take them. Right. Oh, took them. Let's go, let's go, let's get out. Okay, hang on, we'll, uh... Wait, I think I'm still crouched. Okay, I'm good. Okay, yeah, we definitely have freezing temps, so you can mark freezing temps. EMF level 5 and freezing temps. So now the last, the ghosts that remain are Jin, Shade, <gasps> Oni, and the twins. The twins. I really want to see one manifest. Yeah, I'm gonna look for the uh, cursed object, see if I can find it. Let me check real quick. Have you ever used a Ouija board to like figure out where a ghost is at or anything like that? I definitely use Because you're about to. Ouija board. Ooh. Oh, really? Oh, yes! Wait, I'm coming in. Don't use it without me. Let me run for the three seconds I have. <laughs> All right, here. All right. <laughs> what do you want to ask? What, what kind of question do you want to ask it? Yay. I want to ask how they are. <laughs> how are you? A, N, G. Oh, angry! R, oh my God! Why? Oh. It's angry. Oh. All right. What's the next question? Next question. Are there more than one of you? How many ghosts are there? How many ghosts are there? Oh! Oh! It. Oh God! No, <laughs> that can't be good. Burned and broke. Broke and burned. B and B. Yeah, 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 we just, we got lucky. Oh, gosh. Oh, the crucifix, <laughs> the crucifix is heated. <laughs> oh, good, we got an interaction. This ghost is trying to burn us, Colin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Are there two of you? It didn't like to. Are you twinning? I didn't want to answer that question. <laughs> oh, I need, it's hunting. Hurry, follow me, follow me. I can only. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Go, go, go. Okay. Go hide somewhere. Wait, I can't, I can't see. Upstairs, upstairs. Right upstairs. Go, 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 go. Okay. Wait, I can't see the stairs. And I can't turn my light on. It got me. I'm a ghost. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, what do Go I outside. do? Go outside. Go outside. I can't see. Turn on your headlamp. You're you're safe now, for now. Okay. Oh, I'm safe for now. Okay, I'm yeah. going outside. Oh no, Colin. Go out to the Go outside, go outside. The front door, I'm the front trying. door. Where? <laughs> you go the opposite. <laughs> it's this way. No. That, that was right. That was right. That was right. That was right. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Why are you down, Colin? You're crooked on the floor. <laughs> Pull the door. It's a <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job. Yeah, I got. Yeah. See, here comes my tears. Oh, you died. Has this ever happened to you on a real ghost hunt event? I have real tears forming, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, oh my god, a beer can was thrown in here. Uh, Can it follow you into the truck? No, it was me. That's just me. Oh my god. Okay, so... Now I'm investigating on my own. Yep, it's all on your own. So you can back in if you want to, or we can guess and go based upon what right, you think it is. Hold on. Let me just go to what the twins are. Let me just what go through. Um, can I just. We got. What is our evidence? Hold on. Hit J for drill. Five. Evidence. I'm looking at it. Yep. All right. Spirit box. I mean, 
I need spirit box or ghost writing. And we have the ghost writing in there, right? Um, so where did my spirit box wait, go? Oh, I'm just trying to grab this one. I don't know where my mind. So we don't I'm going need... in yeah, thinking you... it's the twins. Oh my god. Oh, I heard a creak. Oh no! Are you it's are hunting. you friendly? I hear it. Run! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah! Oh no! I was wrong. So it was a gym. How, how are you supposed to run away from the thing if you are out of breath in three seconds? Right. Do we have like an insane asylum or something? We like that? Do. Or... We do. You know what? We can do Sunny Meadows Restricted, which makes it smaller. So yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's let's still do pretty that. big though, but it's not as big. It's okay. So, all right. All right. We can do that. Why one. not? I want to see it. Do you often get scared while ghost hunting? No. I don't think that's the word for it. Sometimes maybe anxious, but like there's definitely been locations where I wanted to get through that per like one small section quicker. Hmm. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, I don't want to be here right now. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Oh, I forgot my flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. Ooh, this is white. Ah. All right, let me... Uh... Make sure you ring the bell for good luck. Ooh, when I hit it, it was an ugly sound came out. <laughs> That means you'll probably die first. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, the classic abandoned wheelchair. Is that a classic? I didn't know that. A classic. Oh, yeah. Classic. Always. That's very funny. I had no idea. You can't be in a safe asylum without one. There's blood on the floors. A classic. <laughs> Classic, <laughs> classic ritual this, here. This map was made like later on, and, and some people really like this map a lot. I personally don't. I think it's kind of a little bit too over the top and ridiculous. Yes, um, I'm. I'm of... trying to trying to lure them to us with <laughs> my musical ability. What if it's like no, it's, no, just no, no. it's just too good? I thought there would be like a cursed object here, but maybe I'm wrong. Most interesting paranormal tool I've ever created. Okay. Yeah. I kind of this don't laugh. I Too put late. electronic. Okay, I put electronics and I suspended them inside of a hamster ball and I used an accelerometer. So you know, accelerometer is going to detect any motion in the X, Y, or Z direction. Mm -hmm. It also will detect free fall or if something taps it. This particular particular chip that I was using. And so I, I, it was this is like kind of lazy ghost hunting. I, I made it so it would send me a message to my phone. I left the ball at the location. Mm -hmm. so it would send me a message uh, to my phone if it was moved at all. So I just left, left the ball at the location, <laughs> and it did, it did actually move. That's so it super did detect cool. Motion. What? One of the wires was broken off of it, so I don't know really what happened. But oh, weird. Um. That's actually I, really cool. And also, I, I kind of built an app for it so I could um, see the measurements on my phone in real time. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's super cool. I, I, I liked that one. That was that was a good one. That's uh, really cool. Good I did shot. one that was also triggered, so I had a bunch of different sensors on it, like, you know, temperature. Email. Oh, I heard something. What? What'd you hear? What? Ah! Is it going down in here? <laughs> I see my breath in here, so it might be actually the temperature might it's be. It's 10, 10 temperatures dropping. Okay, I think it might be in here then. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's in here. You just threw something. Oh, I'm going to turn on the ghost box. It's hunting, it's hunting, run. I couldn't run, I couldn't run. I'm trying to run. Oh! I was trying to run. <laughs> uh, did you hear the, the, um, the spear box go off, though? Did you ask it a yeah. question? Yeah. That, um, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess a yokai. Here I am, just floating about. I just hear all these moans. This place is depressing. <laughs> uh, uh, another device I built, actually, I, I 
I used all different kinds of light sensors because, you know, people always see light anomalies when they're doing investigations. Um, sometimes people will see blue or flickers of other colors. So I built a device that I could put in the center of the room and, and um, it would go off and let me know when a different spectrum of light was detected, which I thought would I just wanted to play around with it and see if anything would come of it. And, and there have been times where I've used the device and, and, and it's gone off and maybe, you know, it, it detected something in the blue spectrum or red or whatever the case may be. But uh, I do think it's important to, like you're saying, dip into um, other spectrums to, to see if anything's picked up on. There's not, you know, unfortunately, there's just not enough scientific research done in paranormal research <laughs> and therefore we're not taken as seriously as I think we could be in the community because I think a lot of times people will buy all the gadgets not know what it's actually detecting at all and just get excited if they get a response and it shouldn't be treated that way like yeah. it should be taken more seriously okay yeah that's interesting <laughs> <laughs> what? Right, what? What are we doing? I'm sorry. I oh, no. Lost no, you're good. Comment. No, I was honestly listening to your conversation. I was, I'm honestly, I, these are all the questions I wanted to ask you. I've been wanting to ask these questions forever, but I honestly, I think at one point mm -hmm. I was like, let me ask you some questions. No, wait, let's just do this on stream. I'll ask you then, you know? So like. Do you find that a specific kind of location tends to be more haunted than others? That's a fantastic question. I think that what you can tell is when it comes to like the larger hospitals, locations where obviously there's been more history, you feel that energy a lot more than you do, say, somebody's house. Uh, so that's a great question. It just feels different. I'll say that. But uh, the more history at a location, you, you can just tell the the energy is, is a lot more intoxicating. I'll say that. Hmm. Mm, Wolfie, yes, I agree. I do think... I, I bet lots of people that they'll be like, "Oh, your aura is like a like a dark purple, and then there's like white up top." And I'm like, "All right, cool, yeah." <laughs> what does that mean? Do you, can, <laughs> you, you, so you can't do this then? Uh, actually, I, there there has been um, there has been times where I felt like I've seen a glow on somebody for sure. Yeah, but I I don't go around claiming to see people's auras. Is there any like? extrasensory perception that you think you have maybe other people don't i know i know i don't have that i barely have my five senses to begin with well yes yeah, so i've had experiences since i was four mm -hmm. um seeing things in the house that i grew up in and that's kind of how my fascination with the paranormal started was because i would have these experiences i would he hear and see things mm -hmm. obviously you know are or are not there and uh, that's kind of how it started for me. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, Elizabeth, I mean, you said one more. Are you able to do any more or is, are we done? Either way, it's totally fine. I don't want to. I think, like, will you have me back? Because I would love to come back. Uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? I would love to have you. Yeah. Back. Yeah, we can do a part okay, two of this. Let's do that. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do and part that's, two. Okay, let's do that. That sounds awesome. I would I would love I would love to uh, absolutely do that. So. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks, Elizabeth, for hopping in. Thanks I super, for having me, guys. Super, duper appreciate you. Can we all get some hype in the chat for Elizabeth? 888 in chat. That was so nice. I really do appreciate you coming out and sharing your knowledge and just hanging out with us and giving us a new viewpoint, hopefully. You know, hopefully you all learned something and just got some insight. And so what we'll do then, is now that we know kind of the the how this all works and it's all structured, what we'll do for next time mm -hmm. is get some questions in advance. And we'll make sure to give people a bigger heads up about what's happening and that way people can really be ready to get some good questions. And then you also yeah, know how to play like this game. for me. What? I'll know how to play better next time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, I, and I'll give you more information as well. I wanted you to kind of get, you know, get your feet wet a little bit and get some, uh, you know, deaths under your belt, you know, unfortunately. So, but now uh, we're I, teaching you how to avoid that and what we can do to, to run out. faster. Yeah. Hide better. <laughs> I mean, I, I did tell you to hide. So no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> But yeah, thanks again, Elizabeth. I super appreciate it. All right. It. Thank you so much. This was great yes. to chat. Everyone watching, you guys are amazing and fantastic. Love Aww. to all of you. All right. Thank you all again. Right. All right. Bye. 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 bye.